Hello there, champs, and welcome to the show. Today, I'll be reviewing Dell's new Inspiron 13 5000 series. Now, this sits in between the 3000 and the 7000 series. These have just come out in the last couple of weeks. I'll tell you a bit about the differences later, but let's crack on and get on to the review. So here it is, Dell's new Inspiron 13 5000 series, two in one. This is the model 5368, comes in at around 499 US, starts at, and that gets you a mechanical hard drive. 499 pounds or it starts at 999 Australian dollars. Don't know how that works. This model here cost around 1500 Australian, probably about 899 a thousand US. It has a Intel i5-6200U 15 watt part, has Intel HD graphics, eight gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD. Now this has two slots so you can upgrade the RAM. It's not soldered in. It also has a SATA. SSD so you can easily upgrade the RAM and the SATA SSD in there. Having a look at it, it looks pretty much like the 7000 series I have reviewed and check out the link here for that review. It's made out of plastic but it certainly does not look cheap. It actually looks really high end and this is called the New Era Grey. I would call it a more of a gunmetal grey. It's like space grey and I love this colour. The finish is beautiful. Um, you can even see here on the hinges they finish it in the same color as the body of the unit. It's really beautiful design. You can see here the finish is beautiful. I hope the camera really shows how nice the finish is on that. You have the special hinges here that let it flip back nearly 360 degrees. On the bottom here, you have the rubber strips. You have the two vents here, and it does get a little bit warm here when you game. I'll talk more about that later, and you've got the two speakers here. Very easy to upgrade, just undo these Phillips head screws, pull it off, and very easy to upgrade. But all in all, I love this squared off design here. It looks very square, it's rounded off a little bit here. This new era grey is really beautiful, and it certainly looks high end, even though it's plastic. And the plastic makes it very robust, it can take a pounding, so you don't have to worry there. Let's have a look at the ports. Up here you have a 720p webcam, and it's infrared, so it should work with Windows Hello. So on the left hand side you have the power jack there, HDMI 1.4 port there, two USB 3s and the headphone and microphone jack here. On the other side you have the power button, you have the volume rocker, SD card, USB 2 there and the security lock. It's not a Kensington, it's called a Noble lock or something like that. Now just on having the power button here, you can imagine if you have it in tablet mode and you put it down like that, you can activate the power button, so be careful with that. So one of the differences with this compared to the 7000 series is you don't get a backlit keyboard. Now the keyboard is very nice to use. It's a little bit shallow. If you don't like shallow keyboards, you won't like it. I find it nice to use. I have no problem with using it for long periods of time, but it doesn't have a backlight, so just remember that. The trackpad, it's a little bit clunky. It's very similar to the 7000 series that I reviewed clunky but it works well and just one thing to mention is that this is a brand new computer and it's got a couple of buggy drivers one of them was to do with the trackpad i upgraded to the latest firmware i've upgraded all the drivers this isn't exclusive to dell but some computers when they first come out the first couple of weeks the drivers are buggy and so on this was with the trackpad here Dell are pretty good. They usually fix the drivers within a couple of weeks, but just know if you get this now, you might have a buggy driver with your trackpad there, but it works well. Another difference between this and the 7000 series is also you don't get the USB Type-C on this. So if you need USB Type-C, you'll have to get the 7000 series. As I said, the speakers are on the bottom there. They're Waves Max Audio Pro Tune speakers. They sound very nice. They're very clear. They don't distort, but it's not very loud. Now let's talk about the screen. Considering that this starts at 499, I thought the screen is one of the places where they'll cut corners. It's a 13.3 full HD true life LED backlit touchscreen. Its viewing angles are good. You do lose a little bit of contrast on extreme angles, but it's more than acceptable. In fact, I would say the viewing angles are really good. Touch works well. And being a 13.3 inch screen and full HD, I don't have to scale at all. I can run this at its native resolution. If you compare it to a really high end like Retina screen or an XPS 15 screen, you might think that this lacks a little bit of contrast or vibrance, but this is bang on. 
in color accuracy. The colors are true to life. I can trust the colors on this. In actual fact, compared to say the XPS 15, it's not as saturated as the XPS 15, but this is probably more true to life. So I have no complaints with the screen and considering how much this costs, well done Dell there. So the battery life is really good. Dell claim up to nine hours. I can get seven hours, nearly eight hours out of this. No problem, web surfing, browsing, whatever. Of course, if you game, you're not gonna get that sort of battery life. It's a three cell, 42 watt hour battery. I think it's an LG battery inside here. I've never been able to kill it in a day except when I was gaming on it. So if you're just using it for the web and productivity, I think you'll find it hard to kill in a day. So good battery life. So performance, it's pretty much part of the course with an i5-6200U and Intel HD graphics. It can play casual games. You'll be able to video edit full HD content. I wouldn't try 4K with it, but 1080p content will be fine, especially if you convert your content to Cineform. As for gaming, it plays casual games. You'll be able to do Photoshop, no problem. So your casual games like Football Manager, Minecraft and stuff, it can play no problem. And a lot of people are going to ask me, can it play AAA titles? Well, it actually can. It's not the best gaming device. Obviously, it doesn't have a dedicated graphics, but you can play CSGO at around 60 frames per second at 720p resolution. And something like GTA 5, I put it at 720p. I turned off all the bells and whistles, put all the settings to normal, and turned off all the V-Sync and all that sort of thing. And I could get around 30 frames per second on GTA 5. Now a lot of people will not play at those sort of resolutions. They'll say it's rubbish playing at 720p in 30 frames per second, but that's what it's capable of and only you will know if that's good enough for you. What I did notice though is when you do game, it gets really hot around here. Not hot that you can't touch it and you can't have it on your lap, but it does get warm. And that was only when I was playing GTA 5. And the fans, they're not that loud. They're pretty good, even though they do kick in when you play a hardcore game like that. Overall, my conclusion is starting at $4.99, can't really go wrong with this. It's got a great screen. It's good value. It's got great battery life. The build quality is very nice. I love this gray. It really is beautiful. It's built tough. The finish is spot on. And it's a decent performer being able to play GTA 5 at 720p at 30 frames per second is nothing to sneeze at, so it's more than capable. The only negatives are that there's no USB Type-C the, and the keyboard's not backlit, so if they're deal breakers to you, you won't like this, get the 7000 series, All, and also the drivers aren't quite up to date yet, so just wait a couple of weeks and you should have some new drivers, and if there's any bugs, that they should be fixed. Also, Dell only sell this with the maximum eight gigabytes currently at the moment. I don't know if it supports any more. I assume it would be able to support 16 gig, but currently they only sell this with eight gigabytes of RAM. So there you have it. That's my review of Dell's Inspiron 13 5000 series. It's a great computer. I really have no hesitations on telling you definitely worth buying this computer it's great value i will be doing a gaming review on this device so make sure you subscribe to see that please give me a thumbs up that really helps me out there guys and let me know in the comments if you've got any questions i've got lots more tech content coming soon so subscribe to see all that and until next time guys tally ho <laughs>